Hello my dears and welcome to my channel. I am always happy and grateful that you have chose to spend your time with me and I hope that you're all doing well and if not I do hope things will get better for you soon. So we have the Beauty of Horror Tarot. And uh, this deck was created by Alan Robert, and it was published by IDW Publishing on June 15, 2021, and it retailed for $21.99. And the guidebook was created by Rachel Pollock. And the dimensions of the box is seven and a quarter height across is six inches and the width is two inches. And there's not much with the outside of the box and so it is a, you know, you just flip it open and I lost it comes with a like a photo you know better quality than this but I lost this insert it does go on the inside of the um, the box but basically um, that's what it's about And it has the ribbon and I am I'm not really a fan of this box and there is the guidebook and we will explore this um, because they it doesn't hold the cards it just it's such a big insert thing and yeah it does come out if you really want it to come out but it, it's such a yeah it's such a big insert that you'll hear your cards you know cracking around in there and um reversals will be revealed and let me go ahead and put this and on the cover is um guella i think that's her name Gu guliana yeah guliana um, I think she's the major um, character in his comic books because he's pretty famous for the uh, Beauty of Hero horror comic books. So the cards are a um, little bit smaller than the right away. And uh, the deck is about an inch across. And it does follow the Rider Waite Smith um, with strength as the eight card and justice is 11. It does also have the cups, wands, swords, and pentacles. And um, the court cards are the same. Page knights, queens, and kings. Okay, so like in my tarot videos, I do a side-by-side -side comparison for you guys so you can see if it's something that you want to move on to after you have um, spent a lot of time with the Rider Waite Smith and you just want to see what other decks are out there or you just want to add it to your collection or you're just curious about the deck so let's go ahead and do the major arcana and it is a fun deck It's cartoonish, but you know, the illustrator 
<laughs> does cartoonish art and I, I do believe he does other um, artwork as well. You'll just have to go over to his website and check out his other um, artwork that he's done. But yeah, the images are similar to um, the Rider Waite Smith. So I think, um, yeah, you shouldn't have too much trouble with this deck. I do like the artwork. I think this is his only um, tarot or oracle deck. I don't think he's come out with any other decks that I'm aware of. It is an interesting spin on it. And it just has the number on it, but you can tell from the illustrations um, what suit it is. It just seems like a, a flip-flop universe. <laughs> like a, maybe another dimension or something. <laughs>
Okay, so that is the wands. And next, we have the swords. Okay, that is the swords, and next we have the uh, pentacles. Finish it up with the cups. Yeah, I do believe this would be a good beginner deck. This one I would really recommend for anybody who is wanting to um, try another deck after the Rider Waite Smith.
Okay, so that is pretty much the deck. Um, the card stock could be better. It is kind of a little flimsy. I, I wish it was a little bit thicker. Okay, let's look at this guidebook. It's pretty cool. Okay, so have your introduction. I'm trying to get the light out of it. Um, if you can read that, um, the light is being a little wonky. And my book is coming apart. Um, yeah, as you can see, the, the book is, um, I like the book itself, but the, um, yeah, the, um, the glue, I guess, is coming off or something. It might just be my book. Sometimes there's flukes on it, but, you know, it's, it is what it is. And then you've got your major arcana, and it does um, the card. You get a card of it, and then you get the um, the meaning of it, and then you get um, a little short little blurb meaning. And then uh, reversed, little short one, but it just goes into detail about um, each card and. I hope the books, the the guidebooks aren't all like this, because that that would be a bummer. Uh, the minor arcana, and then you have a, um, you have a little bit of blurb about the card, um, a tinier blurb about the meaning, and then you have a reversal. Little reversal thing, and does the thing with that, and that's pretty much it for the um, yeah. For some reason, my light does not like <laughs> this dark color. I don't know what is going on with my light, but yeah. It is kind of dark color, but yeah, that's pretty much the rest of the book. Hopefully if you get your own, um, the book will be in a uh, good condition, unlike mine. <laughs> and then um, some spreads. get your Celtic cross and then a little blurb about some of the um, coloring books you can get and the um, web pages underneath and then you have a little blurb on the back okay so the cards are because they are so bendy they are relatively very easy to handle. They're not stiff. And um, that's good for people who struggle with the regular size tarot cards. All right, let's see who wants to come out. 
and give us a message. Judgment. Okay. The earliest tarot decks appeared in the Italian Renaissance. It makes sense then that the card just before the end of the Major Arcana should show the Christian Last Judgment and the Resurrection of the Dead. And in Horror Deck, what better image for the dead coming to life than a zombie uprising? If you've been wondering where the zombies went, here they are. Under a zombie angel, the corpses rise up at the sound of the horn, not restored to life, but to the half life of the living dead. The zombies do not march towards us, do not threaten the person who gets the card in a reading. Instead, they shuffle towards some unknown destination. What will they find? Does this angel send them on a mission? What miss mission might this card evoke for you? If you hear the horn, where will you go? What movement will you join? Even in the regular deck, some people fear judgment. It reminds them of Sunday school and warnings God will send them to hell. In fact, the tarot shows something very different, happiness. Everyone rises joyously, no one is actually judged. Meanings, change, rising up some way, entering something new, involvement with others in some purpose, in some movement, or in working towards some goal or purpose that is not yet clear, reversed. Resistance to change, denial of the inner call to take your life in a new direction, possibly a refusal to join some fameless, faceless horde. Okay, so that is pretty much it for this deck. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. And um, if you um, decided to buy it or not buy it, let me know either way. I like to know. Um, if you would like to see a, um, deck in a future video, just go ahead and let me know and I will see what I can do. And once again, thank you so much for spending your time with me and I hope you will join me with a future video, but until then, take care and goodbye, my dears.